If you have a pet, then you will know that the most important need of your pet is to make sure that there's an adequate supply of water as well as food when your pet needs to eat. But what happens when you're not around to fill up your pet's bowl with food or water? How is your pet meant to eat or drink? Or what happens when you're just very forgetful? So Syntec have kindly sent over two smart appliances which are going to help you with your pet's food and water needs. They are the Xiaomi Smart Pet Food Feeder and the Xiaomi Smart Pet Fountain. So I'm going to be taking a look at these two smart appliances, seeing what they do, what their benefits are, and also what Shayna, my miniature schnauzer, thinks of them. But first, let me introduce you to Shayna if you haven't met her already. So this is Shayna. She's a miniature schnauzer. She's currently seven months old. She's very cute. Uh, she loves her toys and her food and her treats. So I've asked her very nicely if she'll be in this video. And she said, of course she will. Hey. Of course you'll be in the video, right Shayna? Hey. You just want to play, don't you just want to play? Hey. So this is how I currently give Shayna her food and her water in these two bowls, which work well, but what happens when I forget or what happens when I'm not around? It is a big worry for me. So here we have the Xiaomi Smart Pet Fountain and the Xiaomi Smart Pet food feeder as you can see Shayna the other day started um, doing the unboxings already by herself she was very impatient right so let's join Shayna in unboxing these two products so we're going to start with the smart pet food feeder so let's move the smart pet fountain out the way for now the Xiaomi Smart Pet Food Feeder is an automatic pet food dispenser that offers convenient and precise feeding for your pets. It allows you to set the feeding time and dosage through the MI Home or Xiaomi Home app, ensuring that your pet receives the correct amount of food at the right time. The feeder is equipped with sensors to monitor food levels and dispenser status, providing refill reminders and indicating any errors through the app and the feeder's lights. You can choose between fixed time and quantity for automatic feeding or manually dispense food with a tap of a button. The dispenser features a six grid structure, flexible food stirrer and a wide dispensing channel to ensure smooth and blockage free dispensing of dry pet foods. The food compartment is triple sealed to keep the food fresh, dry and delicious with a hidden dispensing mechanism and a safety lock to prevent unauthorized access. The feeder is designed for small to medium dogs and cats holding approximately 1.8 kgs of dry pet food, which is sufficient for 15 to 20 days. It can be powered through a standard wall socket and has an emergency power supply system that activates when the power or internet is down. The app allows easy scheduling and customization of feed-in settings and it also offers the option to create smart scenes by integrating with other smart devices in your home. Overall, the Xiaomi Smart Pet Food Feeder provides a convenient and reliable solution for ensuring your pet's food needs are met, even when you're not at home. Right, so in the box you have the Smart Pet Food Feeder. This is the water bowl that uh, attaches with a magnet. You've got some uh, instruction manuals and warranty information and this looks like a tool to eject something. Usually a SIM card tray and a phone, so we're going to have to see what it's for in this product. Right, at the top, there's a button over here. You just push it and the lid should pop off. Pretty tricky with one hand, but let's see if I can get it. There we go, the lid is off. Okay. And then what do we have here? Okay, this is the filter that I was talking about that keeps your uh, food dry and uh, clean and everything and this is where the this is where the food goes so let's install the filter We can then put the lid back on top, making sure to get the direction right, and then just put it like that, and then it clicks 
locks into place and then at the back you have the compartments where the power cable is stored so we can remove the cover and yeah we've got the power cable so we're going to need to plug the unit in and under the unit is a compartment which can be removed where you can store the batteries and these batteries are the backup power supply should you live in South Africa and have load shedding or just have no power the smart pet food feeder will still be able to see to the needs of your pet even when you have no power thanks to the backup batteries which you can store over here so I'll do this at a later stage when I get some batteries we need to get some power for this unit so let's move it to a place where we can plug it in Right, so we can see that the unit is powered on. We now need to connect the smart pet food feeder to our phone using Wi-Fi. We can either use the MI Home app or the Xiaomi Home app. I already have the Xiaomi Home app because I've got a uh, MI bedside lamp and I've got the smart humidifier, so let's open it up. Uh, I've also got the light strip and we're gonna click on add over here. We're gonna say add a device. Uh, let's see if it uh, picks it up. Okay, there we go. Xiaomi Smart Pet Food Feeder. Gonna click it. Connected to the Wi-Fi already. And let's say connect. Okay, we are done. Connected successfully. Okay, we're gonna choose a room, bedroom. Okay, there we go. We can change the name, but we're gonna leave it as the Xiaomi Smart Pet Food Feeder. Say next. Right, we are done. So let's take a look at the app. We just gotta agree. So in the app, it tells you the kinds of pet food that is supported. Okay, we're fine with that. Uh, please fill in your pet information. Okay, I'm gonna do all this information and then uh, come back when it's done. I had a bit of problems. The app won't let me choose dog, only lets me choose cat. So I'm gonna ignore that for now. But I just wanna show you what you can do in the app. You can set a feed and schedule. So you can do the time and the portions to be dispensed. Or you can also do um, manually. You can manually dispense the food. You can choose how many portions you wanna dispense. Okay, in the settings, you can see your pets. You can turn off the indicator. You can activate the child lock. Uh, it gives you a cleaning guide. It uh, also will tell you when you need to uh, change the desiccant cartridge, which is the thing you placed on top, the filter. You can change the name, the location. You can share the device. You can also do uh, automation. You can do like a, um, like a smart scene uh, if you want uh, your light to go on when the pet uh, food is coming out so the pet can see. You can do all of that. And yeah, there's a lot of uh, interesting settings. So now we need to add some food. I did try again and I was able to select dog and uh, fill in all my details. Now you can also fill in the food. So I've got my food that I feed my dog and we're going to add it into the unit. So we're going to remove the cover again, push the button, make sure your hand's not in the way like mine. And then you just push it and it should, it should pop up. It's hard to do this when you form in with one hand, which is my problem. Okay, I've got the lid off. Let's put it over here. Okay, so it's gonna add some food in. obviously store a lot of food over here I'm just putting a little bit as a test to see how this works so let's return the cover
Okay. Some food just ran out by itself. That's not a problem. Let's just put this back here so we can test it out. I'm sure that's a normal thing that happens. Right, so there are two ways to get your food out. You can either create a schedule or if you hit the button on top, food should come out. Let's see. There we go. Look at that. Okay, now let's create a schedule in the app and see how we can feed Shayna or your pet remotely. So we are back in the app and what's quite interesting is it tells us over here insufficient food because you remember that I didn't put enough food in. So that's really nice that the app will tell you that you need to top it up. But obviously we knew that, but it was nice to see that in practice. Okay, so now we are going to create a feed in schedule. So we're gonna click over here and then dispense in time we're going to put the time let's say 206 okay and then portions to dispense um i'm just going to say four portions uh, i need to actually work this out but for now i just want to i just want to test out the machine so we're going to do that and then we're going to hit yes and it's saving it and now when it hits the right time the food will come out. So let's wait for that to happen. There we go. And the indicator light is also telling you that food has been dispensed. So that was the right amount of portions that I chose. Obviously it may not be correct for my dog or your dog, but I'm just doing a test. And then I also wanted to show you over here, check you can see the tick over there that the dispensing has taken place. But if you want to manually feed your dog, and you're not at home, so you can't push the button on top, you can also push the button in the app, check. And you can choose the portion. Let's do a big one, I wanna see what happens. So that worked really well. So what I want to test now is how accurate the grams are from this machine. So Shayna gets about three of these, which should be about 77 grams of food. So in the app, we're going to manually dispense food and we're going to do 15 portions, which is roughly 75 grams and say, okay. Okay, it's done, so let's see. We're just gonna remove the bowl and see if this is the, whoopsie, right amount of food. Ignore me, I'm making such a mess. So that's one. Okay, let's do this again, fold it up. And there's your third and obviously I didn't fill the cups 100% so yeah it basically does um, measure out your food accurately and you won't have to make a mess like me. So if you've set an automatic feed in schedule and uh, the time has come and the food has come out the machine, then if you look in the app, you can see over here the little tick, which means that the food has come out, but you also get a notification on your phone, which says that the dispense has uh, finished. So that's quite nice as well. Next, we basically need to get Shayna eaten from the bowl. Don't get a fright, it's okay. Come, come back.
So now it's time to look at the Xiaomi Smart Pet Fountain. Let's unbox it and see what this smart fountain is all about. The Xiaomi Smart Pet Fountain is a smart appliance designed to provide your pets with a constant supply of fresh and filtered water. It features a four-stage deep filtering system that removes particles, debris and impurities from the water, ensuring it is clean and healthy for your pets to drink. The unit has two filters and a water pipe to filter the water. The fountain uses an oxygen circular water circuit to simulate a mountain stream which attracts pets and encourages them to drink throughout the day. It operates quietly with a three-stage mutant system to minimize noise. The fountain has both normal and smart modes, with the smart mode providing intermittent water dispensing based on the time of day. It has a 2 litre water tank capacity and a power off feature to prevent idling. The smart features of the fountain can be controlled through the MI Home or the Xiaomi Home app, allowing you to receive reminders for water top ups, cleaning, and filter replacements. The app also enables you to automate other smart devices using scenes. The fountain is easy to clean with removable parts and a see through water tank. It has been tested for safety and conforms to food contact material requirements. The Xiaomi Smart Pet Fountain provides convenience and peace of mind ensuring your pets have access to fresh and clean water at all times. Before using the pet fountain, it is important to rinse all the parts and especially the filter to remove the floating carbon powder generated by the collisions of the activated carbon during transport. You will also need to clean the pet fountain about once a week and change the pipe and filters when required. Right, so now that the Smart Pet Fountain is set up, we need to add some water. So we remove the top and we're going to pour water into the water compartment. Okay, that should be enough for now. Okay, 
So now we need to plug in the unit because it needs power to operate. Uh, this foot keeps coming off. I'm gonna have to glue it in place, I think. Okay, and we've got our power cable. So you need to plug the power cable at the back over here. And then I'm gonna plug this in. Okay, now the unit is on and you can see it's already functioning. So here is the smart pet fountain and you can see it's working. Here's the water flowing at the top. And then over here you have the water level indicator. And this is the button to change the two modes and then the lights to know which mode you're on. So there are two modes for the water fountain. You have standard modes and this is standard mode. Uh, in standard mode, the water is flowing all the time. And then in smart mode, there are two times when the water will be flowing from 8 to 10. Uh, the water will dispense every 10 minutes and then from 10 at night or 8 in the morning, the water will dispense again uh, for 10 minutes and then pause for 50 minutes and then repeats. So those are the two modes and if you hit the button, you can see you can change between the two modes. And yeah, there's the water flowing from the top and it flows back down over here so it's not going to flow out the units um, and it just keeps on cleaning the water and uh, making sure that it's not stale and that it's fresh for your pets so yeah and uh, as you can hear there's no noise i would have actually liked if it had a little bit of a fountain sound you know to add some tranquility to my office but uh, yeah i can't complain that there's uh, no noise the water level indicator over here also has a light. When it is red, it means you need to fill up the tank. And if it's blinking red, it means the water pump is blocked and you need to clean the pump. When it is time to fill up the water tank, you simply remove the lid. The units will turn off and then you can top up the water. But at the moment, I do not need to do that. So I can just return it. And as you see, the unit is operational again. So the Smart Pet Fountain can also be connected to the Emma Home or the Xiaomi Home app. So we've already got the app that we've been using for the pet feeder and a few other smart products that I have at home from Xiaomi. So let's uh, take my phone and let's see if we can find the device. We're going to add device. So there we go. It found the Xiaomi Smart Pet Fountain. We're going to click next. Okay, let's let it connect. Okay, it's done. Okay, it's in the bedroom. Next, leave the name the same. And there we go. Let's load in. Okay, it's finally done. Let's see what you can do in the app. So in the app, you can see here, yeah, we've got sufficient water and it tells you which mode we are on. We're in the smart mode. So if you hit this button over here, you can stop the water supply. Let's see. Okay, and resume water supply. Check that out again, stop. Resume. Okay, and then you can change the mode from standard mode to smart mode. And then it tells you the filter when it needs to be replaced. Um, what else? You can turn off the indicator. It's got installation tips, cleaning tips, device name, the location. You can do automation, like uh, your light turns on when your pet is drinking water, uh, something like that. But yeah, overall, the app is pretty cool. Uh, you'll get a notification to tell you when uh, you need to fill it up. And you can also see it on the front of the unit. But yeah, pretty cool.
So there we go. This is the Xiaomi Smart Pet Fountain and the Xiaomi Smart Pet Food Feeder.